Hey everybody. Okay, I wanted to talk a little bit about stop motion. I'm looking right now at my Mauser machine, which is a, a clone machine um, of a singer. And these are produced new today. So they come with all the parts and features. So this right here is what is known as the stop motion. If you want to remove your stop motion, this screw right here, you remove and you take it out. So what happens with the stop motion is this bottom part here engages with this piece um, that stops and starts the hand wheel and engages the needle or disengages the needle. Hang on a second and I'll show you how that works. Okay, so this piece here, it goes up and down when you pull on the handle below the machine. Okay, so that is what is engaging and disengaging the stop motion. So you can see when you pull it up and down, when it's up, the stop motion will engage. And this piece here gets blocked by this and it goes up here and this metal thing behind, behind this screw moves to the left and it opens up and takes this top shaft right here, which engages and disengages the needle. So when the stop motion is working, these two pieces come together. Um, you can see it's down, It's that would be disengaged, and this is up, this is engaged. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm trying to make a short video, but so when the stop motion is engaged, the, the hand wheel will spin, but your needle top shaft will not rotate and your, your needle will not go up and down. So what I'm gonna try to do today is explain to you how to dis disconnect or temporarily or permanently remove the stop motion. If you want to take it out, and many of you that have um, vintage machines, this piece is, is long gone and in the trash somewhere, or it, it just got lost and never used or seen. So many people with vintage machines, this piece here, maybe this screw might be there, it might not, will just be gone. But if you are buying a newer machine, most of them come with the stop motion, which is this. So the handle has a, a small rod inside and then there's a little spring. You can see this spring right here that makes this metal piece go up and down, okay? So there's a rod inside the handle. When you pull down on the handle, this rod right here, it goes up and down. And this piece here, right here, this is engaging and disengaging your stop motion, okay? So let me show you that again. See this? I'm let me zoom out here. Pulling up and down on the handle. The little rod is going up and down through the handle. It's hitting this lever. It's going over here. This piece right here is part the end of this piece up in here. So this lever here is rocking and it's pulling the stop motion up and down. Okay. That's how this works and I have another video that shows you how to disengage and engage the stop motion with the machine running. So if you look at my other videos, you might find that. So to permanently disengage your stop motion, you take out this screw and be careful behind this little screw, there may be a small washer or bushing or something. I'm not sure what you call it. So when you take this whole piece out, this whole piece comes out, um, you just wanna be careful. But I wanna show you first how to temporarily disengage the stop motion. So if you go to the bottom of the machine and you see when you pull it, it's like this. The way to temporarily disengage it is you just get a little wad of cardboard. I have a, here, this is a wad of cardboard with a piece of tape around it. And you just go here and you just shove it under this thing, okay? So now that's wedged in there. It has pushed this lever down. So this piece that comes down from above is now pushed down. And so now this piece is just down. And so I have temporarily disengaged the stop motion. So if I rotate the hand wheel, you can see that, that this piece from below does not come up. So I have now disengaged my stop motion. And that's just temporary, just super easy. Just shove a piece of cardboard under there. Um, easy peasy. Okay, now hold on a minute and I'll show you about 
actually removing the stop motion. Okay, so I've already loosened this screw just to show you. So you just go in here, take this screw out. Okay. So I'm taking this screw out. I got it out. This whole piece comes off. Oh, shoot. Just drop the washer. <laughs> so the washer's down in there. I'm gonna have to fish it out. I'm gonna fish it out and show you what that looks like anyway. So I've taken this part off, um, the screw and the stop motion. That's basically all you have to do to permanently remove your stop motion. Let me go fish out that washer and I'll be right back. Okay, so I used my um, seam ripper to reach down in there and fish out this little washer. So you can see this, um, this small little washer. It was, it was on the end of the stop motion as one side is a little rounded and one side is not. So it was right on there. Well, sorry, it's not a bushing. I don't know what it is. It's just a little cover. Some of the um, other machines, there might be a hole on this and it might show through. But in any case, that is gonna come off your machine um, when you take the stop motion off and you might lose it. But um, now you know to be on the lookout for that. And um, that's how you take out your stop motion. So this is um, the screw. It just goes in there and um, this whole thing just screws into your machine so now sorry here we are with the stop motion removed so you don't need to disengage the spring with the cardboard underneath unless you want to I have found that sometimes I don't I just don't like the pressure on the handle so I will have the stop motion disengaged and then when you sorry when you disengage the stop motion, this um, this channel it has uh, free free wheeling, I guess I don't know for lack of a better term. So there's nothing mechanical. So before this little nubbin up up here, um, this little nubbin up here, it was riding in this. Oops, just dropped the screw. It was riding in this channel. Um, so I prefer to take it out so there's just less parts rubbing. And then I also, it, I find it a little tiresome on my hand to be um, constantly fighting this um, handle with the spring. So I just go ahead and after removing my stop motion, I take this um, cardboard and, and I shove it, I shove it up under here so that um, my stop motion is actually engaged and then so now my handle doesn't have that spring action against it. It's kind of free moving. Um, sorry, let me take you out of the holder here. So I just kind of prefer to have that cardboard there. The handle's sort of free moving and my stop motion is disengaged. Um, sorry for the long video. That's my thoughts on this. I'm not a professional, but um, this is what I found works for me. And this is my uh, wonderful Mauser machine. Um, and I just, I absolutely love this machine. It's, it's so fantastic. Anyway, um, thank you all for watching and hopefully that helps explain, uh, stopping and starting and oops, sorry, cancel that. The stopping and starting is in another video. Hopefully this just explains stop motion to you and how to disable or remove your stop motion. Okay. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, everyone.